All right, today we are going to talk about the sum and difference identities, okay? All right, so cosine of a sum or difference. If you take the cosine of u plus or minus v, you get cosine u, cosine v, minus or plus, sine u, sine v. What this means is you switch signs. So let's say I had cosine of 45 plus 30 degrees. Okay, then you, u would be 45, v would be 30. So what you do is you say that would be cosine of u, 45, times cosine of v, 30. Since this one is plus, we switch the sign over here, that'll be minus. And then you do sine u, sine v. So it would be sine 45 times sine 30. And then you go to the unit circle and you get these coordinates and you multiply them together and you simplify, which we'll do in a minute. Okay, so if you had cosine 45 minus 30, that would be cosine 45, cosine 30, plus sine 45, sine 30. Okay, that's how you do cosine. You switch the sine in the middle, and cosine goes cos, cos, sine, sine. If you're doing sine, notice that the signs do not change. If it's plus here, it's plus here. If it's minus here, it's minus here. So let's say that I had sine of 45 plus 30. Sine goes sine cos, cos sine. So it switches the, the functions, but not the sine. So it would be sine 45, cosine 30. If this is plus, this is plus. Cosine 45, sine 30. And if it was subtraction, sine 45 minus 30, then you get sine 45, cosine 30, minus cosine 45, sine 30. Keep the sign the same, okay? All right, so here we go. It says find the exact value of cosine 15 without using a calculator. Well, you notice that 15 degrees is not in my unit circle, but I can make 15 if I take cosine of, let's see, what would we do? 60 minus 45, that would be 15. So we're doing cosine, which means we're using this formula or identity, I should say. So that's going to be cosine 60 times cosine 45, change the sign, sine 60, sine 45. Now, to simplify that, I have to figure out what each of these things are. So I go look, and cosine of 60 is 1 half. Cosine of 45 is square root of 2 over 2. Sine 60 is square root of 3 over 2. And sine 45 is the square root of 2 over 2. So if I plug those in, this is equal to 1 half times this is equal to the square root of 2 over 2 plus this is equal to the square root of 3 over 2 times this is worth the square root of 2 over 2. So if I simplify those, I have the square root of 2 over 4 plus the square root of 6 over 4, which gives me the square root of 2 plus the square root of 6 all over 4, and I'm done. That's as simple as I can get without getting a decimal equivalent, which would round it and be less accurate. So that's where they want you to stop. Okay? All right, so we want to find the exact value of sine of 5 pi over 12 without using a calculator. Well, there is no 5 pi over 12 in my unit circle. So let's see, what could I do? I don't know. How about, I don't know, 3 pi over 12 plus 2 pi over 12. Wouldn't that still be 5 pi over 12? It would. So now if I simplify those, that would be sine of pi over 4 plus pi over 6. Those are in the unit circle, pi over 6, pi over 4. So we're using sine, sum of sines identity. So we would have sine of pi over 4 times cosine of pi over 6. Don't change the sign. And then it's going to be cosine of pi over 4 times sine of pi over 6. So if I figure out what each of those things are, sine of pi over 6, go to pi over 6, take the y coordinate as 1 half, cosine, oops, 
Oh, I needed that one too. Cosine of pi over 4 is going to be the square root of 2 over 2. Sine of pi over 4 is going to be the square root of 2 over 2. And cosine of pi over 6 is going to be the square root of 3 over 2. So if I replace those, sine of pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2 times cosine of pi over 6 is the square root of 3 over 2 plus cosine of pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2 times sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. So I get the square root of 6 over 4 plus the square root of 2 over 4, which gives me the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 all over 4. Okay, pretty easy. Alright, so let's do a cosine 1, and we're actually going to prove, remember the um, co-function identities? We're actually going to prove one of them. Alright, so if I take this, all right, I'm going to have cosine of pi over 2 times cosine of x, switch the sign, and then it's going to be sine of pi over 2 times sine of x. All right, so if I figure out what cosine of pi over 2 is and what sine of pi over 2 is, I can't do the x's, but if I go to pi over 2, sine is, I mean cosine is 0, and sine is 1. So if I replace those, I get cosine of pi over 2 is 0 times cosine of x plus sine of pi over 2 is 1 times sine x. This would be 0. This would be sine x, which equals sine x. I got the other side. I proved it. Okay. All right, let's prove the sine cofunction identity. So this one would be sine. So I'm going to do sine of pi over 2 times cosine of x. Don't change the sine, and that's going to be sine, uh, I'm sorry, cosine of pi over 2 times sine of x. Again, sine of pi over 2 is 1, so that's 1 times cosine x minus cosine of pi over 2 is 0 times sine x. That's going to be cosine x minus 0, which is just cosine x. Prove it. All right. So if we try to prove this one, we're doing cosine. So I'm going to have cosine x times cosine pi over 2. Uh, change the sign, and it's going to be sine of x times sine of pi over 2. Again, if we replace my cosine of pi over 2 is 0, my sine of pi over 2 is 1. So I have cosine x times 0 minus sine x times 1. That's 0 minus sine x, which gives me negative sine x. We got the other side. We proved it. Okay. So they want you to find sine of 75. Hit pause. Come back when you're ready. And I get the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 over 4. And what they did was they can rewrite 75 as uh, 45 plus 30, which would be sine of 45 cosine 30. Don't change the sign. Cosine 45 sine 30. So if I do sine of 45, that's the square root of 2 over 2 times cosine of 30 would be the square root of 3 over 2 plus cosine of 45 is the square root of 2 over 2 times sine of 30 is 1 half. So you get the square root of 6 over 4 plus the square root of 2 over 4. Keep the denominator, add the numerators, and you are done. Okay. This one says, write each of the following expressions as a sine or cosine of an angle. So here we're kind of going backwards. All right, this is obviously, they're doing sine, cos, cosine, so it's obviously sine of 
u plus v. Well, u is obviously 22, and v is obviously 13, which makes this sine of 35. Right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so, yeah. We've got sine of 35. So we wrote it as a sine or cosine of one angle instead of the sum of angles. Okay, so this next one, they're doing cos, cos, sine, sine. So this is obviously cosine of u plus, uh, this is plus, so mine's got to be minus. My u and my b, pi over 3 minus pi over 4. Okay, that's what they did. So if I simplify that, pi over 3 minus pi over 4, get a common denominator. So I'd have 4 pi over 12 minus 3 pi over 12, which would be pi over 12. So my co it would be cosine of pi over 12. Okay? Alrighty, so this one, same type of deal. It's sine. Sine won't change sine, so that's going to be minus. And I have x minus, sorry, u would be x and v would be 2x, so I'm going to have x minus 2x, which is going to give me Sign, sign. Oh, it's backwards. Oh, goofer. Sorry, I'm like reading this backwards. So, I see, I see. All right, good thing I noticed that. All right, so this is backwards actually. So what I did was I factored out a negative 1, which would make this negative sine x, sine 2x, plus cosine x, cosine 2x, which then makes it cosine x, cosine 2x, minus sine x, sine 2x. Now we're in this form. So I'm going to keep that negative 1. And I can rewrite this as cosine of u plus v. And my u is x and my v is 2x. So that's going to be negative 1 times cosine of 3x, which gives me negative cosine 3x. Okay. All right, you try one. Hit pause. Come back when you're ready. And hopefully you got sine 39. This one's obviously going to be sine. And we don't change the sign, so it's going to be minus. U is 52. V is 13. If you take 52 minus 13, you get 39. Okay. Try this one. You have pause. Come back when you're ready. you got cosine of 2 pi over 35. All right, this is cosine obviously, so we have cosine and we have to, since it's plus, switch the sign. u is pi over 5, v is pi over 7. Get a common denominator, which would be 35. So I have 7 pi over 35 minus 5 pi over 35, which gives me 2 pi over 35. So I'm choosing cosine of 2 pi over 35. All right, try this one. Come back when you're ready. Hit pause. Come back when you're ready. And hopefully you got cosine 15. This is going to be cos, cos, sine, sine, so it's cosine. I have to switch the sign, so that's going to be plus in the middle. And then I have u is 9x, v is 6x, so that's going to be cosine of 15x. 
All right, so what are the sum and difference identities for cosine? Well, if you have cosine of u plus or minus v, that's cosine u, cosine v, switch the sign, so minus plus sine u, sine v. For sine of u plus or minus v, it's sine u, cosine v, don't change the sign, cosine u, sine v. It says, what are the sum and, oh, oops, that one goes down here. Okay, so we are at homework. Happy homeworking. And I will see you next time.